All right, here we go. Found one friendly uh, alpaca. Seems to be. Frickin' teeth make you nervous. Look at this buck tooth son of a bitch. What's up, man? You gonna bite my fingers off? It'll be on film if you do. Yeah. Why don't you turn your head that way and give me your ass and I'll scratch it. Yeah. I don't like all that movement. Stay away from my hands. Come on. Ooh. Okay, you like the fence more than my delicate touch. Go fuck yourself, you dusty bastard. Well, he was friendly. God, he looks like somebody. I want to say some, some southern TV character. I don't know. Throw it out in the comments. Bucktooth motherfucker. What's going on there, you ginger bastard? Call you Bill Burr. Right. It's funny. Coming through Grayson Highlands. Man, there was cow shit and frickin' donkey shit everywhere. Seems like these guys are a little bit smarter than that. Not seeing a whole lot. I guess that's crap. Looks like a bunch of spots people tried to build a fire and let it go out, but whatever. I don't know. This is for this place is really nice place though. All jokes aside, um, really not a hostel at all. Uh, it, it's just a working ranch, and they, you know, the average hostel usually it's not uh, somebody's house. That's usually another piece of property that they own, and uh, you know it'll be, it might be a house, or it might just be an extension of their house. Uh, but what's really pretty cool about this place is, uh, rather than being welcomed into a place that's designed for me and for other hikers, this is just a working ranch, and you're actually just being welcomed into their home. So here I am, just sitting over there. Uh, where that dog's laying down and right inside to the right you know the homeowner's just sitting there watching TV you know just like anybody else would do and uh, you know every every half hour or so come outside you know everything all right you know and yeah everything's good you know uh, <laughs> come out about an hour ago they're like you know hey we're heading we're gonna head into town you know you, you need a ride you know you need a ride to the restaurant you know we'll drop you off there I was like, nah, I'm letting everything, you know, I had to let my phone charge up, but, uh, it's, it's, you know, they're still getting everything worked on, there's still some, some work getting done on the inside, you know, they got, like, uh, you know, stone being built around a fireplace and everything like that, it definitely looks like the place was rehabbed, and, uh, even their website, um, is still getting up and running, so they definitely... Uh, bought this place with a plan in mind, but it's just, again, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, most of the people, like I said, uh, I think I said in one of my last videos that they were at the visitor center and everybody was taking a shuttle into Marion, Virginia. <clears throat> Nobody even knew about this place. And, uh, it's actually a good thing that they don't at this point in time because they're not really set up. For a bunch of, of hikers I mean when to dedicate yourself to a lot of hikers you really have to have you know some porta potties outside some outside showers you can't really just have one shower or one bathroom um, you know you, you definitely need a little to have a little bit more than that but uh what's up there blackie not being racist oh that was the friendly one but uh yeah, this is definitely something different. You know, hot tub right across the way. Uh, they asked me if they wanted me to open up the hot, or if they wanted uh, me to have them open up the hot tub. And, you know, I was like, nah, it's, it's already hot enough. You know, if it was an ice bath, I'd probably jump right in. <clears throat> but, you know, again, it's just, uh, 
it's the kind of stuff it's it's funny that my reward for putting in miles it's not a paycheck you know it's it's work just like roofing just like anything else you know it doesn't have to be physical you know I don't want to take away from anybody that does a job you could be you know IT tech support or something at freaking a cable company just talking on the phone at the end of the week you want to you want to see uh, you know a reward for it uh, you know the reward is the paycheck but out here the reward is a shower laundry uh, a place to charge your phone a freaking random dog or cat that just comes up to you and relaxes you know it just reminds you it takes you back to you know life off the trail you know so it's it's something that I really hope to take away from the trail when I get back home is to appreciate the things that we really just take for granted um, generally that's what people take away uh, that and as cliche as it sounds the what do they say uh, I can't think of the way people word it but basically uh, restore your faith in humanity uh, because you really don't see you know anything bad out here everybody out here is just that's all they care about is just helping you out they give you trail magic you're ready to walk away they're giving you more I mean to the point that you all you feel bad you feel like you're being disrespectful it's like no nah, I can't you know I got enough I got enough stuff as it is I'm full you know I got 10 more miles to hike I can't you know I don't need water and food sloshing around in my stomach while I'm trying to get uphill you know somebody will just end up tripping in a you know pile of they're slipping in a pile of puke because I couldn't hold it down um, you know people are really just you know ready to give you the shirt off their back I've seen posts on one of the uh, guides that I use somebody else had came here he said that uh, or he or she said that uh, they had sat down to eat dinner while he was out here and they came out and you know came up you know a few feet away from his tent you know and you know said his name you know got his attention he, you know the guy was like or girl was like uh, you know yeah you know what's up and they were like you know we're sitting down to eat dinner just wanted to know if you wanted to sit down and join us and yeah, who does that you know out here it happens all the time and uh it's just it's a really really unique experience and a really cool experience um you know they couldn't have been happier they were asking me where i was from how am i liking it am i through hiking am i section hiking it you know i mean every time i would give them an answer there was another question and of course for people like us you know if you're willing to listen i'll tell you whatever you know so you know it's pretty cool to be able to share that because it's coming out here I was sharing my excitement about doing this but you'd either get two things if, if you know what you're looking at you'd either get eyes wide open and people are excited and they want to hear what you're saying and they're asking questions or eyes kind of shut down and they glaze over and basically that's when I would start to kind of stop talking because I could tell that no the person I was talking to was just like yeah whatever you know go after yourself you know oh you're gonna go take a six month vacation you know it must be nice you know blah 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 you know, it's like all right well this person isn't really feeling what i'm saying everybody out here they they really look forward to what you're saying and that's actually one of the reasons why people open their houses and make hostels a lot of times they're they're ex through hikers um and they just fall in love with the community but it's it really is amazing that you know people don't it's like you can tell you can tell people about this but 99% of the time they're gonna think you're full of shit and you're making it up or you misinterpreted something that you had researched and you got it wrong somewhere along the line so it's pretty cool to show that that's not the case like I said this these people aren't set up for a hostel and they're certainly well past the bubble of hikers coming through. And they didn't answer the phone when I called. They called me back. And they didn't have to. You know, they could have just looked at the number and thought, you know, oh, this is probably just somebody trying to stay the night. You know, what's 10 bucks? You know, 
mean, we don't need, obviously somebody with a piece of land like this, they don't need 10 bucks or 15 bucks, whatever it, you know, it, you know, it would be, give or take. Um, so it's obvious that it's not about the money. It's about bringing people in. And then they leave, you know, to go do whatever they're doing and, you know, and leave me here. So a complete stranger that they met four hours ago. Does that happen in Baltimore? I mean, no. Uh, but it is what it is, you know. Um, just really cool. You know, I just wanted to, you know, just kind of talking out of my ass here. I didn't plan this uh, video to actually be anything. I was just going to make some jokes about these long neck fuckers and uh, end it. But it's, it's, it still blows my mind that I'm here. It was a little bit different when I was in Georgia because I'm 500 miles further south, but I'm still, I'm in Virginia. I'm, you know, trail-wise, I'm 600 miles, 500 miles away from Harper's Ferry. I'm 1,600 miles, 1,700 miles away from finishing. And uh, I'm basically in the middle of nowhere. I mean, for all extents and pur intents and purposes. Uh, when I was trucking, if I hadn't have let my driver, my trainer, know what I was planning on doing, if I would have contacted my coordinator and let them know that I was quitting on that final week of training, they would have just dropped me off. And uh, he, he would have dropped me off at the uh, nearest truck stop. And I was in Tennessee at the time. And I was joking with him because I said I wouldn't want to be dropped off in West Baltimore 30 miles away from home, let alone, you know, lower midwest but yet somehow out here obviously the money helps but uh there's a there's a comfort in being somewhere that i've never been you know because i might as well be in freaking europe right now i might as well be in spain i mean the, the distance from here to home you know is negligible you know it's not like i can just go home tomorrow i mean I, you know technically rent a car but um, I don't know, I'm kind of rambling because it's just, it's a, it's just a really, really surreal experience. So whatever, uh, had some time to kill while these storms pass before I head out to this Mexican restaurant up the street. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I don't plan on half the time when I put a video up, I don't, or when I start recording, I don't have any plans. I just start talking and see what happens. So that's what happened. See you.